one more question on managing data. So since I'm like the only data person who is currently managing the events and amplitude, is there a good way or approach to monitor broken events? For example, right now, I see that there is the subscribe feature in reports, which I can use, but there are a lot of events that are not in my chart. And right now I just go to amplitude, like in the data, in the events tab and look for like the past 14 day trends. If there are, is like no trend or like zero 30 day volume, that's how I know that, you know, the events are not working as expected, but it requires a lot of manual work from my end. So is there a better way to manage and monitor events in Amplitude? The general idea in my head would be to create charts and set alerts on those. But again, that's not at every single event level. And if you want to monitor every single event, I think it's more of a manual process for now. You can sort your events by the 30-day query or the 30-day volume within the data tab and see what the volume looks like. If you're seeing certain events that have dropped significantly in volume, uh, again, it's a manual comparison that you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. Uh, If you think there are events that should have higher volume, but you're not seeing the exact amount of volume for those events, it's a manual process, but I think that's all I can call out unless Glenn... uh, Maxine, do you have anything to add? No, the thing I think of is something like this, which you count in my end. Okay. Uh, any event group by event name. And then compare potentially period on period. Uh, I'm just saying something. I have no idea what I'm looking at. I'm just like quickly putting this together. I don't know this account. It's a demo account. It doesn't say anything, but at that point, we should have a row change because we're doing period over period. And now we can look into like sort it from small to big. To figure out like okay what's what's missing what's going on that's what i would try oh okay those were all the questions i had thank you